Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and I am here to do a huge Byredo unboxing. I have three packages from Byredo to unbox and review for you guys. All candles, no perfumes this time. Um, these are things um, that you review, or that you review, that I bought when I was in New York City, but I didn't want to carry everything home, so here they are. So, first one. Oh, open this guy up. These boxes are amazing, by the way. Has the tissue paper right here. And the first one. Let's tuck this guy in here. I do like to save the packaging. Now, this is an unboxing unboxing. I've smelled them in New York, but I have not smelled them in person. This is the saffron candle. I don't know if it's saffron or saffron. I mean, I know it's saffron, but in here it has an A. My favorite thing is taking off the plastic. Ooh, you can, you can already smell this beautiful candle. Now, this was a holiday candle at first, but they made it a permanent scent. So, here it is. And this is my first Byredo candle. Ooh. Focus on me. What happened? There we go. This is my first Byredo candle that um, has the black wax. I've never had one that had the black wax yet. Oh, this smells so unique. Now I'm going to pull up on my phone the description. Saffron Candle is inspired by finest spices, childhood memories of sweet bakery treats, and winter's past. Soft notes of sweet saffron and black pepper blend with labdanum, labdanum fragrant, fragrant violet, amber, and creamy vanilla. I definitely pick up the violet, as most in here, and the labdanum. This smells like a warm scent, but it has a little bit of a fun floral. Oh, I really, really like this scent. I could totally see this as like a can as a perfume. It's a great bedroom scent or a living room, I would say. It's very, very fresh and floral. Um, like I said it has the labdanum in there, which makes it a little bit animalic. The amber just makes it super, super creamy with the vanilla. Oh, it is a beautiful candle. So that guy is the saffron or saffron candle. Not 100% positive. This is probably the first review on YouTube for this guy because he is brand new. Brand new. Newest candle that they make. Next box. Is another classic candle. Now, most people know this candle from Byredo. I believe it's one of their most popular candles. It is called Treehouse. This is Taylor Swift's favorite candle. She burns it all the time. And I knew when I was in the store that I had to have it. By Rado. And the notes of Treehouse are... Bamboo, pimento, hay, labdanum, myrrh, and heather. And heather and leather. So this is gonna have like the labdanum just like the other one, so a little animalic. Looks like this. Oh, this is so good. On first sniff, I definitely can pick up the bamboo and the leather. It's weird, my nose always picks up like the base notes and some of the top. I'd never really get the mid notes until I keep smelling. So leather and bamboo is what I get. Pimento, I can smell. It's very, very spice, but the spice is towards the back of the fragrance. You don't get that right away. That hay, if you've smelled Foin Coupe from um, Diptyque, it's very similar. Oh, it is so good. Mm. Oh, I really like that. I can see why it's a super popular one. Mm -mm -mm. So that is a Treehouse. And the last one is probably the most outrageous one that I bought. I don't know why. Oh, by the way, these both were $80. That's their standard. Uh, that is their standard candle pricing. 
And then, last box. Is this is a Byredo little bag, and it is what does it say? Byredo Necessary de Voyage, made in Italy. I don't know what that means. It is a Byredo Weck trimmer. Byredo Le Object Simple, Simple, Simple. So, this is a big Wick trimmer. They have two sizes one is a small size, it's 25. This is the larger, which is 30. Um, and the reason why I got the bigger one is because it's able to go, if you can see, this box is about the same size as the jar, it's able to go right to the bottom of these Byredo jars. And sure, I can use any wick trimmer, but this black looks really classy. I like that. And then, it also will be able to go right down to the bottom of one of their saints votive candles in rose water i am so excited for this guy so this was something it was 140 dollars which is a lot of money for a candle i understand but this candle is absolutely beautiful it says i'm gonna read what it says for you guys whoops maybe for holiday 2016, Byredo presents these new fragrant candles inspired by Veladoras prayer candles or seven-day candles. These tall votive candles are often decorated with religious motifs, including saints' prayers and biblical text. Veladoras are found in many homes and are said to be both, are sold in both churches and corner bottegas. In religious traditions. Light is a symbol of faith, truth, wisdom, virtue, grace, charity, and the divine life. The Catholic Church and its smell are vivid memories from my childhood. This guy is rose water. Now look at how absolutely beautifully stunning, absolutely beautifully stunning this candle is. For one, it is gigantic. Notes of Bulgarian rose, geranium, rose petals, and rose absolute. So if you don't like rose, <laughs> you are not going to like this. Me? I happen to be obsessed with rose. Oh my god. That smells so good. It's like the freshest rose I've ever smelled. Ooh, it smells nothing like Bay from Diptyque, so like if you like that, it's nothing like that. It is like pure rose. Oh, that's beautiful. I don't know why it says rose water. I don't get any watery notes. The geranium maybe makes it a little floral, like a little more floral than the rose, but what that looks like this is absolutely beautiful jar and i love that they all come in their own boxes as well and these boxes are nice and sturdy but anyway it was a little video of a byredo unboxing let me know from my last video too if you guys tried anything from byredo from the house of byredo perfume candles anything they have some incredible products i'm absolutely obsessed with everything that they make so let me know um, and if you're wondering what I'm wearing, this is a top from um, last video, my Lululemon, with a Lululemon Metal Vent Tech tee. But, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. I love you guys. Bye.